<laughs> hey everybody and welcome to this video tutorial so today we're gonna be doing something a little a little bit awesome just a little bit awesome so um i got asked by um some some of my subscribers how do you put your custom spawn egg into your custom tabs so I researched it and I found out, and we're going to do that right now as well. We're, we're, we're also going to solve the naming issue in this video. I got um, a message from uh, a subscriber as well with a fix for that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so we're going to get started. So the first thing we need to do is in our redstone main file here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down to where we uh, did all of our entity stuff. Um, okay, so first thing, we'll do this part right here. This language instance. And actually, i got to increase my text for you guys so you guys can see better. So I'm all about helping. So i got to go into appearance. And uh, let's see. So click on there. Edit the default, and I think I said it's 18 last time, which just should be good. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. And I may actually change my appearance. I don't know. Nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. So I click apply, and okay. So, uh, so we got this part right here. Uh, this, so I'm just going to separate this from the rest of the code. So this right here is. Um, Basically setting the name for our mob so that on our spawn egg, it doesn't say spawn entity dot ready freddy dot name. Um, so what you have to do, um, so first off, up here at the top where we did where we registered global I entity ID, I'm pretty sure we had it ready freddy like that. Make sure it, there's no spaces, and then uh, take this line right here language registry dot instance uh, opening closing parentheses dot add string localization and uh, open parenthesis double quote and then type in entity dot ready freddy dot name closing uh, double quote co uh, comma space double quote and then the name of the mob so we could change this to jackass 5000 if we wanted to but we're just going to call him ready freddy uh, so there we go. That's that part. Um, if you need, if you need to see that code a little bit more, um, link in the description to my compare your code, uh, not to my video about the actual code. You can just go there and look at the redstone main Java file to find that. Uh, which actually I'll be updating after this video again since we got new code. So what what we need to do in here. Um, is we need to comment out this register entity egg because basically what we're going to do is we're going to create our own custom spawner uh, to create our own custom eggs. It's it's a really simple uh, uh, thing to do here. Alrighty, so uh, after we've done that, we need to go up to the top here. I'm just finding all my stuff because I literally just completed this. Okay, so we're going to go underneath our biome da -da 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 -da, underneath here. Before we did all of our mob stuff, type a comment and type define um, custom mob spawner. So you can create as many of these custom spawners as you want. So if you have a really big mod where you have, let's say, you want to have one uh, custom tab. Actually, no, you can just really have one if you wanted. But, you know, it just all depends on how you want to have it. But you can have as many of these as you want. You just got to repeat these steps for each one. Uh, but, we're, but we're just going to be creating one of them. So we're going to type in public static item custom spawn. We'll just call it custom spawner. And there we go. Uh, semicolon at the end, and you're finished there. Now we're going to scroll down some. I'm just going to find the code over here first. All right. Yes, 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 yes. So now in our settings code below our biome, Again, settings for custom spawner. So then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to type in that, that name. So custom spawner. Spawner is equal to new custom spawner. All right. Uh, we're not going to give it any special name, just something simple. And we're going to give it an ID of 
ten sixteen. Um, now the the tutorial I, I followed had eight thousand in there. If you guys want to try that, uh, and if it works, post in the comments down below uh, with saying that yes, that works or no, it doesn't. I'm not gonna bother trying it. I'm just gonna continue on because I got so much stuff to do. Um, I'm getting comments all day long, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I'm 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 looking at them all the time, making sure I I, I get each and every one. Every time I get a comment or a message, I get them in my in my inbox. So I probably got about. 60 emails today, I would say. <laughs> so it's, it's good. And so anyway, all we have to do to uh, the only parameter we have is the ID. And then we got to do our set on local. Local. His name. So this is basic uh, setting stuff as we've done before. Custom spawner is our unlocalized name. Now this part's a little bit different. So since we're dealing with spawn eggs... Um, we got to do something a little bit different. Now you've really got to pay attention to this part and make sure that you type it exactly as I have it. Uh, this is another one of those weird function things. So F U C N or F F U N C underscore one 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 two zero six underscore D open parenthesis double quotes. Uh, path to your um, the same stuff redstone tutorial uh, comma so blah 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 comma custom spawner so basically we're setting the texture stuff just like you'll always we're gonna do some more stuff with this in our actual class file for a custom spawner but for now just put that in there and then set the creative tab set creative tab uh, this dot red tab in our case. Now, don't get, don't 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 get, get confused. You don't have to do this for each and every spawn egg that you have. Okay, you only have to do this for um, just for the spawn. Uh, it's it. it it's hard to explain, but you only need to do this once. You don't. You don't need to do this for each one. I'll show you where you have to repeat stuff later on. So from there, we got that. That's fantastic. My mouse is kind of going bonky on the, uh, there for a second. And now we got to go down and we got to and we got to give it a language registry. Um, so we're gonna go down to the bottom here, down to right below our biome, and we're gonna type in. I think I'm pretty sure I have three lines, so there we go. So register um, custom spawner. So there's no game registry, just language registry. So language registry dot add name as usual. Uh, the, so custom spawner. This is all normal stuff. We know how to do this. But for the name, you only want to give it uh, a name of spawn, no spaces capital S on that. Um, so basically, this is going to be the word that appears before. So like uh, for spawn ready Freddy. So you could have it, you could have it say generate ready Freddy or whatever you want it to say. But I'm just going to stick to spawn. That's the, the basics. And that's pretty much it for the redstone main file. You can close that and open up. Uh, actually, no, don't close it yet. <laughs> we got to create our custom spawner. So we're going to, so we're going to hover over custom spawner, click create class. Uh, we're going to put this in a package called spawn. We already know how to create packages by now. We've created how many of them so far? Lots of them. So, you know, redstone tutorial dot spawn is where we're, is where we're going to put this. So press enter or return on your keyboard and that's going to generate. Now we are going to have to, we are going to go into, um, uh, Minecraft files to get some, get some code for us, uh, that we can, because we're basically, we're, since we're doing a custom spawner, uh, we can basically just copy the code and just change a few things, and it's all going to work exactly the same instead of typing all that stuff out. So we have to go to, um, let me look here for a second. I have a web browser here somewhere. I'm just going to quickly get to check this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I forget what the f where uh, what package it's located in. Uh, so custom mob spawner. 
this right here. So we had to go to net.minecraft.item. Right, right. And then the other one's an entity. So minecraft.net.minecraft.item. And we want to find item monster placer. So item monster placer right here. Copy all of that code. Uh, paste it over top of everything that we have in our in our our uh, file our file so far. It's going to rebuild the workspace. We can let it do that before we continue. Okay, it's done. So we're going to change our package. So just hover over net.minecraft.item in our custom spawner, not in your monster, not in the item monster monster place. You can just close that now. So you can just hover over that and click change package package declaration to redstone underscore tutorial dot spawn. That's going to change that to that. And then as well as here, change this to change. Uh, you want to click rename type to custom spawner. Uh, and import item. There's a bunch of other stuff in the part. So just press command shift or control shift O. And that's going to import everything we need. And that's going to fix every error we have. But we're not done yet. So uh, right now this is going to grab. It's going to uh, put stuff in the in the normal entity list. And that's where it's going to get it from. But we need to change that. So basically what this is file is going to do is it's going to go into the entity list. And it's going to grab each and every egg. And basically in there we have uh, the, what mob we want it to spawn. Um, the ID of the mob. And the I, uh, like the, I, like, or the, the name of the mob. So Ready Freddy with no spaces. The ID of the mob. And then the two colors. Uh, it's going to grab that and it's going to create each egg within our custom class. So that's basically what this custom spawner does. And custom placer, whatever, however you want to. So wherever it says entity list, we want to replace that with uh, our own custom one. So I'm going to call this custom spawn, um, custom spawn list. I guess uh, I'll, no, I'll actually I'll call it custom entity list, just to keep things straight. And entity. Now we are going to get an error because we haven't created that yet. So there's one in there, and then there's one in the next one. So, uh, so in uh, get item display name, there's one in there, and then there's uh, get color from item stack. Uh, it's hidden here, so it's after this, this little piece right here, right there. Paste, save that, and then there's another one. There's two more here. So we got to find a function. Da, 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 da. Uh, entity spawn creature. Uh, I'm pretty sure is where it is. So entity list right here at the top. Replace that. And then right here as well. Entity is equal to. So in the first four statement, there's another one right there. Now, if you missed any of those, just go back in the video and rewatch them again. I rewatch that that section again until you get it. And then there's one more. Uh, where is it here? Entity list. So it's in the get sub items. Change that to entity list. And we're good to go. And I'm pretty sure that file is now done. All we got to do is create this custom entity list. So we're going to hover over that and click class. We're going to put it in spawn. It's fine where it is. Click finish, and now it's going to create this custom spawn file. Uh, now we can save that there. Still not going to fix the error because we're not done yet. So now we need to go to net.minecraft.entity. This one right here, just below enchantment. And then we need to find entity list. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Entity list. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull my I'm going to pull my code back up here. So entity list. So we got this. So we can basically copy this entire file as well and paste it over top of everything. Go up to the top, rename the package to redstone underscore tutorial dot spawn as per usual. Uh, there's going to be some other things that we need to import. Uh, so we need to first, first let's change uh, the type to custom entity list. And then if we're still going to have errors, press Command-Shift-O or Control-Shift-O on Windows. 
and we want to import uh, net dot minecraft dot net dot minecraft dot entity dot entity. Click that, and that's gonna fix everything else in the file. It's also gonna fix this file. But now there's a few things. We got this big list of uh, of uh, stuff down here. I just gotta find it right here. So this static method right here. Uh, you want to search for the static method, and uh, you're gonna see we have all these add mappings. You can see what a, what the fuck are all these? Well, we need to delete most of them. So we we want to keep item. So you want to keep item, uh, mob. Where is it here? Want to so we want to so right from uh, XP orb down to Minecraft spawner. You want to delete all of those. So you want to keep item, mob, monster. Uh, creeper, and then the rest can go. So we don't need to keep skeleton or anything like that. Just keep the one, go down to the bottom, delete all those. So basically what this list is, is this is where we put our items of where of what eggs it's going to create. So the first thing we can do is copy the creeper and paste it, and then we can get rid of it. All right, so here we need to change this to our Ready Freddy Entity class. So I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab it right from here. So and this right entity ready freddy dot class. Uh, we don't need that any that file anymore. So go over to our custom entity class, put that in there. So entity ready freddy. That's gonna give us an error because we have to import it. So import it as usual. Uh, this uh, put in ready freddy. If that is your name or if you're so basically make sure that this. Uh, uh, string here is the same as what you put in um, as what's right here in entity dot ready freddy not the entity dot and the dot name but the ready freddy here is the same so if you have a if you have so if I have um, jack hole here like that then over in our custom entity list we also want to have jack hole there as well okay so make sure those both are the exact same and then now we're almost done so we, we're just going to put the id in you're just going to say well checkered what's the the id of our of our of our mob well since we started at 300 we set this one variable up here start entity id 300 so we see it's, it's going to auto assign from 300 on um so we can so we know it's going to be 301 to start with so we can type in 301 as the id and now these are our color values so this is where we're going to go back into our redstone main file and down where we created our egg originally we're going to copy both of these values of whatever you have in there your two different colors the 0x uh, which is here is the red and the blue so I'm just going to paste that in there. We can close the spawner. We don't need that anymore either. Copy the other color and paste that in as well. There we go. That's yeah. This is the blue and this is the the red. All right. So now that we got that, we're pretty much done. We've got one more thing to do, and that's the texture stuff. You're saying, well, how does the texture stuff work? Um, I'm going to go back into that custom spawner file for a second so I can explain this to you about how that part is working. So we go into spawn, custom spawner. We go right to the bottom. Uh, you're going to see we, we have the register icons part here, and we have super, the register icons, and then this dot, I, this dot the icon is equal to par one icon register dot register icon this dot function one 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 two zero eight underscore a okay now you may say well what it, what we have in there is we have d in there how does this correlate it's just the way it is i'm uh, i can't make it i i i really can't explain it this is just the way it is and then plus overlay so basically, this is the overlay. So basically, what it does is it takes, we have two white images of both the, the, the egg base and then the egg overlay. And I'll show you what those are in a second. Actually, right now. 
So if we go into our uh, our uh, default resource pack, we go to Assets, Minecraft, click on Textures, then Items. We're going to see we got this Spawn Egg overlay and this Spawn Egg. So this is the base and this is the overlay. We need both of these. So we're going to copy those, go back to our desktop, go into our Forge, MCP, Source, Minecraft, Assets, Redstone Tutorial, Textures, Items, and paste these in here. But we're not fully finished. Since here we called them Custom Spawner, uh, where was that? Since we called them Custom Spawner right here, we have to do the same thing in this file. So Spawn Egg now becomes Custom Spawner.png, and Spawn Egg Overlay becomes uh, custom spawner underscore overlay. So you got to have them named the exact same. Either that, or in the custom or in the custom spawner, you change with this here. All right, and we don't need to change any of the colors because it's going to set the colors in the game for us. Now we should be able to launch, and we should be good to go. This is so exciting. Very exciting. All right, so let's test to see if this worked. It should work because it's the exact same code I got in my test file, my test project. All right, so we're back here in our world. Time set zero. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff we can get rid of here. We don't need any of this stuff anymore. Actually, we can just click it like this. Please say it's actually gone. Yeah. Uh, bring this stuff down. I'm going to get rid of it as well. Okay, so as you can see, our egg is not in this miscellaneous. And, you know, doing this is really actually helpful if you like, if you have a lot of mobs in your, in your uh, mod, you can have a custom place to get all of yours instead of having all these different things, having a whole bunch of more eggs in the same spot. So now if we just click over and we put them in the red tab or we put it, there it is spawn ready freddy in our custom tab and it spawns ready freddy look at that shit look at that shit game mode s look at that look at that uh, and actually another little tidbit i'll give you in this video um i'm not sure if i did a video on, i don't think i did a video on this already uh, for our uh, for our um, for our custom mob, so where do we put him? We put him. Uh, we do we want to, we want the render? No, we want the entity. We want the entity file. So we, if we open up our entity file, we are having prop um, the code I gave you for max health, and it uh, didn't work. So here's this new section right here. Um, you can get this from my online repository of code, um, those those PDFs, so shakaroon.com slash redstone tutorial. Link will be in the video's description down below. So basically we have these two different functions, uh, function 110148 underscore A, they're actually both that. Uh, shared monster attributes, different fields here. Uh, blah, blah, dot function, blah, blah, blah. And basically, so this is going to set your health and this is going to set your attack damage. Now, I did test this with damage indicators and, that, and it does work. So, uh, use this code. This seems to be the new code for uh, these custom, uh, for custom mobs or for like uh, for, for custom health and attack and stuff for your custom mobs. So, you can just put this right in here. Uh, we probably could have, I probably could have figured this out but thanks to um somebody uh to a subscriber um oh i wish i'll get it. i will get his name uh, and i'll put it in the video's description um thanks to you for <laughs> sharing this information with me and now i am sharing it with everyone else uh we are eternally grateful for you helping us out with that so uh, his attack is now 25, and his damage, and he, and he, and he damages with five. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys in the next video tutorial. 
Uh, today we we tackled uh, custom spawn eggs uh, in our custom tab, as well as fixing our mob name on the spawn egg and fixing our health and attack for our custom mob. Uh, so thanks for watching once again. Uh, give Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus all some love. Uh, we need some more. I need some more likes on the Facebook and stuff, and the, t and the Instagram is. Uh, I'll be posting stuff on Instagram, which on Mecca gets posted to Facebook, of uh, new videos I'm going to be doing or anything like that. I'll be posting polls on there and things like that of, of what you guys want me to do next because I got a long list of things to do. I'm going to actually show you my list of things um, on my list that I've gathered so far. So we got this nice long list of things to do. So custom machines. Uh, tool that mines three by three or destroys three, three by three blocks. I'm gonna keep adding to this and checking things off as time goes on. So uh, keep those those ideas coming of for what of for what you want me to cover, and I will cover them whenever I can. Uh, I think the next is gonna be dimensional doors, which will be Monday, and then uh, so I'll have Corona up tomorrow, which will be Friday. Uh, so then. Uh, Monday is going to be actually no Saturday is going to be um, <laughs> it's going to be Minecraft Forge and then Sunday is going to be um, Corona again and then Monday is going to be so it's going to be every other day uh, not the same day it's going to be they're going to swap each week so one week there will be three Minecraft videos and then and two Corona and then the other week it'll be three Corona and two Minecraft. Uh, and then anything else that I get, any kind of gameplays, will be additional on top of that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching once again. I will let you guys go. Uh, keep those comments coming, the likes, the subscriptions. We're we're going strong. We're building an army. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for everybody. Uh, see you tomorrow for another. Minecraft uh, for another Corona SDK tutorial. And I think what we're gonna yeah we're gonna be covering images and putting them into our Angry Birds game, our Angry Birds uh, tech technical demo that we're building. So I'll see you guys then.